Hey everyone, so if you have this model of the Nutribullet, I'm going to tell you the reason why it would be a great idea if you decide to upgrade to this one. Okay, so I've been using the Nutribullet for years. I had the model before this one and then I decided to upgrade to the 900 series. And I've been using this one for at least three, maybe four years now. And I love it, use it all the time, at least three, maybe four times a week. But then one day I noticed that Nutribullet had the balance. Now I've had this thing for a while now, so I've been using it to try to get a good feel from it to see how better it is from this one. Now blending wise, they both blend pretty much the same consistency. So they do liquefy the fruits and the vegetables that I put inside of these machines. But the major upgrade on this one right here versus this is the fact that it uses an app. So if you want to balance the amount of ingredients you put inside your machine, especially if you're new to Nutribullet world where you like to blend your fruits and vegetables, you might not know how much fruit versus vegetable you need to blend together to get that right balance. And that's why they came up with the name balance on this one because when you use the app, it'll tell you how much fruits and vegetable to put inside the container for whatever that recipe calls. So if you're trying to lower your blood pressure and trying to do other things like lose weight and stuff like that, this one is gonna help you more versus this one because this will tell you exactly the amount that you need to add inside the container. While this one over here, you just have to pretty much use your judgment. And all of that is done inside the app. The app is gonna show you as you add the ingredients to, okay, stop right there. And if you go over the limit, it's gonna let you know that you're over the limit. So let's take a look at the app that comes with this machine. So once you start up the app, it's gonna come up and you're gonna see your dashboard. Now the little red X in the corner means it's not connected. So I'd have to hit the connect button and try to connect to the machine itself. So once you connect to the machine, now when you put the container on top and you start adding your ingredients, it's gonna let you know how much you're actually putting in. Then it's gonna break down those contents to let you know which one has more proteins, fat, sugar, fiber, sodium, and cholesterol. So you will know all of that based on the ingredients that you put in the machine. Inside the app, you have like uh, your recipes. So the recipe at the bottom, it'll tell you the different stuff you can choose from. And plus it gives you the opportunity to create your own recipe. In the categories, you have like smoothies, you can make soups, dips, salad dressing. So if you click on smoothies, for instance, it's gonna bring up a bunch of different smoothies you can make. So all of these different smoothies you can choose from, and then when you choose from one of them, it's gonna tell you all the stuff that you're gonna get in it. You know, how much grams of protein, fat, sugar, fiber, sodium, and cholesterol. And then it's gonna tell you all the ingredients that you're gonna to need to make this smoothie. And once you add them in to the container and drop them inside the container and put it on here, it's gonna tell you how much of each ingredient you need to add to the cup to make this smoothie and it's gonna come out perfect. Or should I say balance? So if I click on the nutrition facts, it's gonna show me everything that's in the smoothie, you know, how many calories, how many saturated fat, the cholesterol, the sodium, the total carbohydrates, and it just breaks it down into everything, you know, your vitamins and your iron and your stuff like that. So all of that from the smoothie is built in, but the app will feed you all of this information. That's something you will never get from this one because this is just a manual machine and it doesn't have the app to help you out as to balance out your smoothie. And this is if you want to lose weight and you're trying to reduce your sugar content and all the stuff that you put inside your body, you know, because a lot of uh, fruits are good for you. But the fruits have sugar built into the fruits. So that's another sweetener to it. So a lot of fruits are not good for you because it's just too much sweetness. So if you're trying to reduce your sugar by not drinking sodas and all that stuff and you eat a lot of fruits, so you're not really doing your body any justice because you're still putting a lot of sugar in your body. It's just coming from a different source, even though it's a healthy source. And another thing, it also breaks down the information about the actual ingredients. So for instance, almond milk, you can click this little icon on the right and it gives you facts about almond milk so you can read all about it. And then it does the same thing for the grape and the spinach and the cinnamon, everything. So it breaks it down for you and tells you what do you get out of this ingredients. You know, cinnamon is known as an antioxidant. So all of that is coming from this 
machine right here so when you create your own recipe you will click on that first icon you see right there that says create your own recipe you click start and then you just make sure nothing is on the base and choose okay now right there what you see right now is this telling me make sure there's nothing on the base so the machine itself calibrates itself based on how much ingredients go in there and it needs to do that calibration so right now make sure nothing is on the base you click OK and then it's calibrating then it's going to actually start telling you okay this is how much you put in there this is how much you put in there and that's how much you put in there based on what it is banana orange grapes whatever so that's how you do it when you create your recipe and then you can save it now one of my other best feature I like about this one beside the balancing of the ingredients versus this one over here this one is automatic so what I mean by that okay when I put the cup on this one and I start it up I have to sit there and monitor it and make sure I stop it at a certain time and it's based on what I'm looking at as far as inside the cup if I'm looking inside the cup while it's going and it looks like it's all blended and now it's all liquefied I just stop it while this one over here as soon as you put it on there you can walk away from it because it automatically stop itself so you don't have to sit there and monitor it and make sure it's all done once it thinks it's done and it liquefy the stuff it's gonna stop completely so I really like that feature right there plus it also has suction cups so you hear that right there that's the suction cup sticking to the actual table this one doesn't so it actually vibrates and move around because of the blending so that's the Nutribullet balance which is a big upgrade from my Nutribullet 900 but you might have a different model but if you don't have one that has this app, then you don't have a smart one because the smart one is the one with the app. It knows how to blend right and stop. It knows how to balance the ingredients. So if you don't have one of these and you're thinking about upgrading, kick this to the curb or hand it down to a family member and then upgrade to this one. It's a smart move if you decide to go this route. And it's a good way to balance the right ingredients for your smoothie which means help you lose weight, make you live healthier as far as your blood sugar and everything else that you put inside your body. This is gonna help you do that, especially if you like to drink smoothies like I do. Okay, so that's gonna be it for this video. I wanna thank you for taking the time for watching it. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comment, go ahead and leave it in the comment section just below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet and you like these kind of videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget the bell icon. I want to thank you for taking the time for watching this video. I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a good one.